30 days post explant surgery and I'm now back to being able to work out. We are three weeks out from Ibiza, Spain, Barcelona, Marbella with the girls. Ready to party. Still can't do any like chest specific exercises but I start running, doing all that. One thing that you gotta do before hot girl summer is work on your abs. <laughs> but jokes aside, not just aesthetics. My lower back started killing about two or three weeks into surgery. Why? Because I wasn't working on my abs. Cause I couldn't, cause like the pull, all that, like I couldn't do any of those movements. I didn't realize how far I've come since I started incorporating abs and mobility. I used to constantly have that back pain all day. How was I living like that? So we're getting back into it. We're back to the vlogs. We're gonna start getting ready for hot girl summer, getting ready for Europe. We're getting back on our ab routine and I got so many questions cause that video blew up on TikTok. I thought I'd specifically show you guys the 30 day routine I'm doing because I'm starting it again. Today. I'm so excited this is the first time I tried it on in my x video. But baby, middle bro, I'm about to show off these lack of titties. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Had this on for the run and now I'm just so excited to wear this because obviously I could have worn this with boobs. So I was genuinely concerned about being demonetized. Now my ab workout is specifically for me. It was designed by a personal trainer that has their exercise science degree, kinesiology, has been a personal trainer with professional athletes for 10 years and we really assessed my problem areas which is I have a very extreme anterior pelvic tilt due to just like a curved spine and all these issues we won't get into. Here was the foundation that I did every single day and those are kind of my foundational movements they help with mobility and I'm going against posture. That's why it also does help me to do just some kind of ab engagement every day because pretty much the other 23 hours a day I'm standing in the way I shouldn't be and so that's to counteract it. With elbows at eyes, I can't fully do this. This is a modified version. Then four times a week, I did an actual workout for my abs. So two were push and two were pull and those were really to target the rectus abdominis. So that's what these exercises were and then I just did a bunch of research to find which exercises specifically target the rectus. I'm gonna show you guys because I'm an open book here, but I hope it also sparks you to go hire a personal trainer or go to physio. I know it's out of a lot of people's budgets, but there's a lot of affordable options. There's virtual options. And it's kind of like if you do it once or twice and educate yourself on where your strengths and weaknesses are and your own mobility issues and how your posture is, it can set you so much faster in the future versus like just constantly following what other people do. So there's my tip. Here is what I've done and just, I think it is a solid routine for the most part. So here it is, take it with a grain of salt and hire a professional, trust me. Trust me, if you guys need some recommendations or saying, let me know. My music channel, so my DJ, where I put my DJ streams, I have a specific ab one. So if you need music for your ab workout, it is like, it's just perfect vibes. It will keep you like that crunch, crunch, crunch. I got computer work, record my music stream, hot girl walk, get boosted, let's go. declutter look at this this is all clothes that no longer fit me but also i'm gonna try and consign them because i have no clothes come on we're streaky come on i don't have the money to just buy new wardrobes so i'm gonna try and just sell and make anything so i'm going to europe i need your guys opinion on bikinis i have a bunch they obviously don't fit does this look stupid yes is it so obvious this is the wrong size this color is so nice Yes or no? Yes or no to green? Brown? Yes or no? Anyone here halter back me? No holler back girl, ain't no holler back girl. This one is so funny. Look how much this does not fit. But like, guys, this isn't my boob. Like, it's hollow because it's like a supportive one. It's kind of a catfish and it's almost like, oh, 
But little do they know, there's, it's literally like, you know what I mean? There's, it's just air. This is from my friend Bev, and it definitely didn't fit before. And now it fits great, and I really like this. I have tape under, because I have to tape for a couple months to help with scarring. Do you like this? I like this. Oh my god, okay. I don't know if you guys remember, I did like a bikini try-on haul in the middle of winter, and I hated this one on me. But now I love it. <gasps> oh my god, I like this. A years ago, Zafool sent me all these bikinis, and none of them fit. Hello? Oh my god, this is so fun. And it's a great color too, and I can never wear it. Okay, I can't tell if I love or hate this one. Does this one fit properly? This is actually a pleasant surprise. All my bikinis fit. I'm so happy. Well, not all of them, but like, problem about fake boobs is your proportions don't make sense. So I'm like extra small, small bottom, and I was like a large top, so you can never get set. I can buy sex again! Oh! Okay, fit of the day, we're another minimal bra. Different color, and then Whitney biker shorts are my favorite. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, I did a poll to find like the best hoodies, and by far, the best hoodie is this CS, CS, I, I don't know how to say it, normal. This is the woman's one. Like, the sleeves make sense, they're a little bit like, puffier. I bought in three colors. Black, this gray, and red. I don't have a problem. Okay, but how nice is this look? Ignoring that, just if I if someone Photoshop that out. Excellent. We're going to Ibiza. How is everyone's packing coming? I'll do it the night before. Me? Prepare. We are gonna have no repeat of last year when we left Jim behind in Canada. Everyone repeat after me. We will not leave Jim behind. We will not leave him behind. SBF everyone. Jack. Jack. Drunk Kelty, how's the packing coming? I took a pill to Ibiza. Kelty, how's the packing coming? What? I'll deal with it later. I do not want another Coachella moment where the only vegetable you consume for four days was chicken nuggets. Vegetables for me. This is not a joke. I'm not dealing with your complaint hangover phone calls anymore. Oh yeah, this guy. You guys know how much I travel. And the one thing you will always find me traveling with is Athletic Greens, these travel packs. When you travel overseas, it can mess with your tummy. What does Athletic Greens have? Pre and probiotics, digestive enzymes. Second, I don't know if I'm gonna have a fruit or vegetable, especially when I'm going to places like Ibiza. I know there's 75 whole food sources in Athletic Greens, so I'm good to go as long as I have this. It's just nutritional insurance. I'm gone for a month. I don't have a lot of room to pack for supplements. AG1 is nine health products in ones. It's your adaptogens, antioxidants, digestive enzymes, and a superfood complex. So I got that. Instead of having eight tubs or nine tubs of supplements, I got everything just packed right here in my carry -out. And I love that it just keeps my energy good, my digestion in place when I'm traveling, because the last thing you want is to feel lethargic and have upset stomach while you're traveling overseas. And I don't want that for you guys. We finally get to travel this summer, and I want you to have the best summer. So I got a code for you guys. So if you want to up your health routine, if you want to take your health routine with you on your travels for Hot Girl Summer, use my link down in the description, code KELTY. If you tap my link below, you'll get a one year supply of vitamin D3, K2, five free travel packs of AG1 that you can take with you. Once again, that's my link down below, code KELTY. Get yourself some AG1 today. Back to the video. Okay, okay, totally relax. So you're, you're gonna be kind of on the edge of your chair, but not like, I want you to put pressure up your thumb, right up into it. It's like just sliding like yep. this. Yeah, it's right there. It's like a knot right there. You're made up on your brother, it's like your mama. <laughs> I wonder where I get it from. <laughs> Not me having the pulsating pain in the back of my neck and Haley Bieber had a stroke and oh my god, so now I'm paranoid. I was like, I'm having a stroke. So I called my best friend who's a nurse and called my mom. I'm like, am I having a stroke? Am I the only other person who packed? I just had surgery, so it's a lot more common. But bonus, when your mom, been personal trainer, fitness guru for 30 years, you just call her and she's like, Kelty, we're gonna do some stretches. And it made me realize I have not been able to stretch my upper body and I've been like this for like a month. So they start doing those stretches. Oh my God. Caitlin, Caitlin, are you, how's your posture right now? Let's sit up, let's sit up straight, open chest. Let's do some neck stretches. Oh my God, it feels so good. And there's nothing worse, nothing worse than being on an airplane for hot girl summer. When you have muscle soreness, you will feel like crap. That was me flying back from New York. I literally burst into tears. My muscles are so tight. And now I got need to go get my booster because I'm going to Europe. I think, yeah, if you're going to Europe, no, like, 
It's like 270 days after your last vaccine. No longer considered vaccinated, you're saying? I am going to answer some questions I had on both my 30-day ab TikTok. Can you talk more about ATP, APT, anterior pelvic tilt? And I also want to know, it is not like a disease. It's just a posture. So I think I phrased it wrong sometimes being like APT. It's not like a condition you have. It's just like a posture, the difference. Most people don't have like a completely neutral pelvis. Some have posterior pelvic tilt, some have anterior pelvic tilt. Here's the two photo differences. It's okay to have a minor one. It's just when it's like super severe and you kind of always want to be working towards having a neutral pelvis. But usually an anterior pelvic tilt is from weak core and weak glutes, which results in like tight hip flexors, tight hamstring. First, I'm blessed. My mother has been telling me since I was six years old, Kelty, stand up straight. I used to sleep in a bed that had indents like this from how I slept. And then since then, I've seen physiotherapists, chiropractors, trainers. That's how I know it's, I don't know life without it. And that's why you watching. Yes, you, you beautiful person. How old are you? Just treat yourself once. You deserve it. Has strength in your core helped with your APT when standing? Significantly. My default used to literally be like this. That, it's so unattractive. But now I find I naturally stand like this. It's not perfect. But right there is like my natural. And then I like really try to think and then stand properly. How you fit your training in with push-pull split? Is it basically quads and calves on push day and glutes and hamstring on pull day? Typically you can kind of do two ways. You can do push-pull because for example, your tricep pushes. Your bicep pulls. Pulls, your quad pushes. I naturally just do movement, so I'm doing like a lot of pushing movements. Okay, it's gonna be a little complex, but you guys are smart, so I know you'll get it. I usually superset everything to balance my movements. The first exercise is the heavier one, the concentration, and that will be, for example, if it's push day, it will be a push movement, like a squat. And then I'm gonna do the antagonist movement, so the opposite, but more of a mobility thing, less weight. So for example, if I'm doing a weighted barbell press, I'm gonna do some kind of pull movement. A squat, which is a push, and then I would do some kind of pull movement movement like a dead bug and that that's how I personally split it up it's more of the movement less of the muscle but typically certain muscles are responsible for the movement would love a follow-up video showing different postures in general and how to correct them I can't this is most personal trainers don't have the capability to do that that's why I will forever say just one time in your life book with a physiotherapist just to get you examined and then you'll know I'm not that person uh, so like my mom is someone who I could go to and she can actually understand it but I'm not even going to demonstrate those exercises I'm going to show like some examples but you got to go there how many or how long did you do each exercise I didn't give exact reps and weights because I didn't want people to fully copy if you're doing it unweighted you can do it like the 10 to 30 range if you're doing it weighted it should be 15 and below and that's a good way to progress just start with as many reps that you can feel your abs and then when you can only rep out a few more you're about maxing it stop so if you can only do like 10 and then you're no longer using your abs you're using something else stop little update for you guys the vlogs are back at uh, the unbox series thank you it's still it's not gone but it's like taking away the unboxing you guys weren't a fan of it i feel it it was like i just needed that time off but i like the unbox i like the conversations but i'm gonna stick that for when i want the conversation the vlogs i love especially now that things are happening again travel i have so many ideas vlogs and the challenge you guys you're in percent i got some big plan for you have a great day go bed off love you bye